very crowded place. So you'd, we had our boat anchored and there'd be fishermen around day and night, a different fishermen. There'd be morning fishermen, afternoon fishermen, evening fishermen, and middle of the night fishermen, and they never touched anything. And people would leave their boats there and go off on trips. And, for six months. For months. And nobody ever touched anything on the boat. And when we got off our anchored boat, I mean, they know that there was only two people on there and they knew, you know, we'd get in our dinghy and go for 15 minutes, they'd see us go to the mainland. I mean, they knew that boat was totally unguarded and yet, they never touch the thing. And However, when you go ashore, they will cheat you. They'll cheat. They <laughs> cheat you like crazy. Right. But that's considered the game. <laughs> that's, and one, that's fair. At one point, we were tried to cheat. One guy tried to cheat us seven times, and on the eighth time, actually did manage to cheat us. And I was so amazed at that. And that evening, I was at the, a Cochin University uh, giving a little talk, and I met the chancellor of the college. He had a cocktail party, invited us to it, and I told him the story of being cheated unsuccessfully seven times by the same man who eventually cheated us the eighth time and I expected the college professors gathered to you know commiserate with me and apologize for their people instead they were all beaming and they said oh yes Indian never, never gives up never gives up, <laughs> never gives up. <laughs> I thought that was a great line